Meghan Markle and Queen Elizabeth II acted like best friends on their first outing together but a bombshell documentary claims that the grandmotherly love the monarch showed could have been a PR exercise. The Duchess of Sussex has not been part of the royal family for long, but she already seems very close to Her Majesty. According to reports, Meghan refers to her grandmother-in-law as Mama in private, which is a nickname Princess Diana gave the monarch. In addition to pet names, the Queen also made it clear that she really likes the former actress when she invited her mother, Dory Ragland, to attend Christmas celebration with the royals at Sandringham last year. A source close to the family said that the invitation was a mark of opening bracket the Queen's closing bracket respect for Meghan and an acknowledgement that she doesn't have any family in England. However, it was one particular engagement which reportedly brought the monarch and Meghan close together. In her first year as a duchess, the California native and Her Majesty went on their first solo trip together to Chester in July 2018. Kate Middleton only went on her first solo engagement with the Queen last month, since joining the family nearly eight years ago 2018 documentary Harry and Meghan, the first 100 days notes how after that visit, the two became best friends. The Queen's former aide Dickie Arbiter said, the day itself was brilliant the Queen and Meghan obviously have a tremendous rapport. I have never seen the Queen look so happy and delighted. She was smiling and laughing a lot. However, the documentary's narrator also added that instead of genuine grandmotherly love, the Queen's warm behavior could have been a PR exercise by the palace. Royal author Katie Nichol explains, the royal family have come unstuck in the past because they have isolated Diana. They didn't include her they don't go out their way to make her feel welcome. Is this why they are making such an effort with Meghan? I am sure the Queen, by bringing her in under her wing, supporting her, going out with her on a very public away day, it sends out a great message. Royal biographer Duncan Larkham also added, the Queen, in particular, has learned from the lessons of the past. They know how badly affected Princess Diana was in the early years of her marriage, feeling that she joined this alien world that she couldn't cope with. However, Recent reports may suggest the Queen's relationship with Meghan is slightly more complex. On Monday, it emerged that Meghan has been issued a warning that the Queen will not allow the royal baby to follow a vegan diet. It came after reports in Women's Day that the couple had wanted to raise the child as a vegan. However, a royal insider suggested, the Queen won't have it. It's created tense discussions between Meghan and Harry. Who doesn't want to upset his grandmother? He's hoping Meghan will settle once the baby comes and he's putting this latest polarizing idea down to heightened emotions while being pregnant. Harry and Meghan first met on the blind date in July 2016. Following four months of behind closed doors dating, the news leaked in late 2016 that Harry was seeing a former Suits star. A source at the time told the Sunday Express that Harry was happier than he had been for many years and was besotted with Meghan. The relationship was confirmed in a formal statement in November 2016. On November 27, 2017, it was announced that the two were engaged. At the photo call in the Kensington Palace Gardens afterwards, Harry was asked when he knew she was the one. He quickly replied, the very first time we met. They married in a breathtaking ceremony at Windsor Castle on May 19, 2018. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.